welcome or welcome back to the Recreateful channel. I'm Divya and I mostly do DIYs and upcycling videos. In this video, I'm going to upcycle an old button-up shirt and a curtain to recreate the infamous Selkie puff dress. Anyone with an Instagram account would have seen multiple versions of this gorgeous poofy dress and just like everyone else, I'm obsessed with it too. As I will be using materials from my already existing upcycled stash, I actually don't have enough organza to recreate the dress, so I I decided to recreate the Selkie puff style in form of a top instead. I have seen a ton of sewing channels recreate this dress and I know I'm incredibly late to the party but I just thought better late than never, am I right? I have also tried to make this an easier version for my own sake and so that everyone else can give it a go to. So let's get started! So here is the old button-up shirt that I'm going to use as the lining fabric and the old organza curtain that will be my outer layers. It is nice and sheer just like the fabric that is used for the Selkie dresses. The first thing I did is to check whether the bottom of the old shirt fits around my chest with lots of room, which it did, so that was great. Next I measured the length of my bust to determine how long I need the bodice part to be. I then cut the bottom of the old shirt off and marked the length of my top onto the shirt, which for me was 16 cm. I basically cut out one big rectangle to fit all around my chest. I cut this out and also cut off the button and buttonhole part of the rectangle. To make sure it still fits, I quickly wrap it around me to check. Next I take the two side seams and place them on the side of my chest. I can now see where the fabric doesn't lie flat on me, so I'm pinching the fabric to create dots below and above my bust. So I'm just playing around with the fabric until it hooks me nicely. The process of draping the fabric on yourself can be a little messy, so I lay my fabric flat and tidy up my darts now that I got a rough idea of how much I need to take in. I then cut along the fold that I created with my darts to have two separate pieces. I am also freehanding a curve along my pins and cut along that curve. Now I can copy that curve onto the other side of my top along the fold as I want all sides to be curved. Once that's all done I have these three pieces that will be the bodice part of my selgi top and that's the most difficult part of this top done. On my side pieces I'm creating some triangle notches that are 16cm wide and 4cm deep and cut these out. This is so I can later easily attach my sleeves. I copy that same triangle onto my other side piece and cut it out too. These are the three finished top patterns. Next I simply copy these patterns onto the curtain and cut out two sets of them. So now I have two layers of organza and one layer of lining. I attach them all together by sewing all around the edges. Next I cut out one more set of these patterns, but this time I'm using the remainders of the button-up shirt.
Now it's time to attach these pieces together by aligning the bust curves and sewing them right sides together. Once that's all done, I place my other linings onto the outer layer right sides together and sew all along the top edge. After that, I just slip the seam allowance a little bit so the fabric can lie nice and flat. Next, I measure how long I want the poofy part of my top to be. I then cut one very long strip out of the organza curtain, as wide as my measurement, but adding 2cm seam allowance on each side. I just cut out however wide the curtain was, which was almost exactly twice my underbust measurement. And I cut three of these strips out for the different layers of the top. Luckily, the sides of my curtain are somehow melted, so they won't need to be hemmed. However, the bottoms of these strips need to be hemmed with a rolled hem, which I had to press with the iron first, because a ganza just doesn't fold very well. I believe that the original dress is made out of circle skirts, but I decided to go for these rectangles instead, as hemming circle skirts is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Once all layers are fully hemmed along the bottom, I'm sewing a basting stitch all along the top of them. My sewing machine already sort of ruffled the layers for me, but I just need to ruffle them up a little more to make them fit the length of my bodice. Once all three layers are ruffled up to half their width, I'm sandwiching the ruffled edges between the two bottom edges of my bodice. I am paying extra attention to make sure that the right side of my organza is attached to the organza layered bodice piece. I then had this little fabric burrito and sewed all along the edge of the bodice. Once that's done, I cut off the excess seam allowance to ensure there is no weird bulks afterwards. I then turn it right sides out and it starts to take shape. Next I install the zipper by folding the raw edges of the bodice inside it and placing the zipper tape in between the two layers. I snip the zipper tape where the organza layer starts so that I can fit it around the seam. I also fold the organza layers onto the zipper tape and then sew down the zipper with my zipper foot. The zipper turned out to look like this. Now I need to close the back of the organza layers, which I do by moving the end of the zipper out of the way and attach each layer individually right sides together. For the sleeves I measure the length of my shoulder as well as my desired length for the sleeves.
I multiply my shoulder measurement by 1.5 and create a rectangle out of my two measurements. Cut this out of the organza and create a second one. Next I press the bottom and top of my sleeve pieces for a rolled hem. At the top of the sleeve pieces I now create the same notches that I created on the bodice. For this I cut one small triangle that is 4cm high and 8cm wide. I can then sew the rolled hem shut. I then measure the circumference of my lower arm. I cut two pieces of elastic for my sleeve, one to fit around my lower arm and one to fit around my shoulder. I feed these elastic pieces through my rolled hem at the top and bottom of my sleeve using safety pins. I pin the elastic onto the organza and attach it with a couple of stitches. I repeat the same for the top of my sleeve and for the other sleeve too, of course. My sleeves then look like this. To close the sides of the sleeves, I fold them in half, wrong sides facing and sew along the edge. Next, I snip the excess seam allowance off and turn the sleeves inside out to then sew along that seam again to encase it in my new seam. It then looks nice and clean and it also prevents fraying. I then hem the notch that I cut off with a rolled hem too. Lastly, I align both the sleeve notch and the bodice notch and attach them to another. My top then looked like this and is now finished. And here is the final outcome. I love how this turned out. I think it's super cute and gives me absolute fairy feels. It definitely was not as hard as I thought it would be and I am just really happy I finally found a new purpose for the old shirt and curtain that I had lying around. I would love to read your thoughts about this in the comments and thank you so much for watching.